So it's uh, 23rd of March, Thursday, not quite Friday, but still time for physics fun. And um, I've just got a very simple experiment here, a quick demo. Um, this is something Year 7 have been doing today. So we've got a, a small syringe there, you can see millilitres at the side, you've got 2 millilitres, and then a big syringe and 20 mil up the other side. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure, so I'll just move it to camera, I'm just going to push this in. Okay, and we'll zoom in, we'll push it in, and you can see then... Ooh, a little bit of pressure. Now the pressure should be the same in the liquid all the way through because the liquid is not compressible. So I've moved it in and we've got clearly a very small change here which is equivalent to two milliliters of fluid but the distance is quite big. The distance here is small but the force, if you think about the force over the area, so force at this end and area one, is the same as force here over area here. So we tend to say, we call them one and two, and we say force one over area one equals force two over area two. The area is different, okay? And the forces have changed, So, but we're saying that the pressure overall is the same throughout. So this is a hydraulic situation, I could turn it round. So what I can do, the whole idea is really, think about this, I'm in my car, I put my foot on my brake, and I push, there we go, and so I change my force. So I can obtain a bigger force, a braking force, than I would do if I just used a direct hydraulic system. So there is the basics of hydraulics. Cross times distance, all work done.